One of my favorite features of .NET MAUI when building desktop apps is adding multi-window support. Multiple windows open at the same time. It enables you to create really great user experiences when your users are on a desktop environment. Now I'm gonna show you today how you can easily integrate multi-window support while still supporting normal push and pop page navigation for your mobile and tablet applications. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, here I am inside of Visual Studio and I've created a small little demo application showing off like a list of items that you can click on and get more details about them. In this case, it's a list of monkeys. This actually is coming from the .MAUI workshop, which I'll link in the show notes below if you're just getting started. But basically here you just have a collection view with some hard-coded monkey data inside of here. When you tap on one, it will go to the detail page to display some information about that monkey. So I'm just gonna run it here so you can kind of get the idea of this application and apply it to what your application may look like. And this is a very common scenario for a lot of applications where you have a list of items, tap on one, get more information, or you might have an add button to add some more information and navigate in. So here's our monkeys, click on one and go a little bit deeper and get information about it. Now, you could add a lot more information, you could be scrolling, you could be doing a whole bunch of other things, but you get the idea, you have the list and click a little bit further. Now, when we go ahead and click on this, we can see we have this tap gesture recognizer. And that specifically is calling this event. And that is using just sort of standard built-in navigation that is pushing that onto the stack over here. So that will pass that monkey data in. And if we look at the detail page, we can see it's using this query property to grab that information about the monkey and then update the binding here. Now you can be using full MVVM, all of that stuff. This could be passed into your view model, all with the navigation and is handled fully. And you can learn more about that actually in that .NET MAUI workshop as well. And I'll link to documentation on navigation. Okay, but let's go back over here. Let's say we didn't want to push this onto the stack. What if we wanted to open this in a new page? That'd be really beneficial here if I'm on a desktop, I have a lot of real estate, I wanna see all of my monkey data all at once. So let's go ahead and do that. Now there's a few ways of detecting what type of device you're on. Built into .ml, you can say device info dot, and you can see things like version and manufacturer, but specifically you could say uh, idiom here. And the idiom, I do equals equals device idiom, we can see that I have phone, tablet, TV, watch over here, and there's other ones such as desktop, for example, and desktop would be a good one to, to go with. I actually prefer to either conditionally compile this or just actually check the uh, platform that I'm on. And this is really nice. And I can say device platform. And here I'm gonna say if I'm on Mac Catalyst, for example, or if I go device info dot platform, and I say equals equals device platform dot WinUI, then now I know for sure that I'm on Mac Catalyst or I'm on WinUI here. And then I can say else, and I could just go ahead and continue to use the exact same navigation that I was on previous right there, okay? So I could handle that automatically for me. Now, what do I need to do to open a new window? Well, I'm gonna need two things. The first thing I'm gonna need is a details page. I'm gonna say new, I'll say detail page, and I'm gonna pass in the monkey here into the constructor. Now you could do this any way you want. Maybe it's a view model, maybe it's something in your dependency injection, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create the new detail page here. And I'm grabbing that monkey based on the binding context. So I just am able to pass that into the detail page. Now I'm gonna create a new window. So I'm gonna say a window, I'm gonna say equals new window here. And the window object, which is part of .MAUI, enables me to create a window and also give it a page as the root here. Now all I need to do is just say app dot, and I'll say current, make sure that it's not null. I actually have an app that's running here, so I'm doing unit testing, I can do that here. And if I type in win, I can see that I have windows. So this windows object here is a list of active windows, I can close a window or I can open a window. So I have those available to me here. So that's actually really nice. Here's that read only list of the windows coming back to me. If I wanna open a window, so I'm just gonna pass it a window here. Now I could pass it that window to close it. I could iterate through the windows to close it if I had a close button, for example. The other thing I could do over here is I could say window dot, 
And I get all sorts of different events going on here. So if it's created, when it's activated, when it's being destroyed, when things are being pushed and popped onto it, resize, I could get access to all of that. I could, of course, subclass window and say, this is my monkey window, for example, and then handle things specifically there. But that's it. Literally just changing it from going to async to opening the window will open that up for me automatically. Now I'm just going to go ahead and run the application again. And what we'll see is the same exact application in the first default window that's there. And then if I go over and click on one, I can now see that it opens in a brand new window. So now I can get all of my monkeys all over here, which is great. So I have all of these windows that are all resizable, navigable, all those things automatically, and they're all gonna run separately. Now, as long as I keep the main application open, that will enable me to keep the app running. So when I click on that monkey again, as long as I don't close the main one, this is just like a detail page, the application will continue to run. And it's really just that easy. Now, if you are running your application on a Mac, you're going to have to do a little bit of extra work. Here, I'm going to go into my Mac Catalyst folder, and you have to add a scene delegate. Now, the delegate for the scene is what Mac Catalyst and also iOS use on an iPad, for example, to handle multiple scenes. And there's a Maui UI scene delegate. So you just create this here, put it into your platform Mac Catalyst. The other thing that we're going to need to do is open up our info.p list. I'm just going to open it up with XML so we can take a look here. And we'll add a little bit of code here once we've created the scene delegate to set the manifest information for it. Now, this is all documented inside of the links that I'll put in the show notes. And all you have to do is copy and paste that in. Now, once you do that, the exact same code that runs, like I showed you on Windows, will do the same over on a Mac, and you're totally good to go. There you have it, multi-window support. There's tons of additional features when you're handling multiple windows, and I'll link to documentation and to source code samples below. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get updated every single time we put out a video right here on the Donna YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs>